Welcome to your reading. As always, check your Sun, Moon and Rising and Venus sign. And but there's a future prediction in this, I'll be channeling some of your energy as well. It's timeless for whenever you come across it. The intention is for you to have the heads up for the next 10 days. But I often feel like the energy is beyond 10 days, that the channeling I get through. Because things can take time. And there might be an energy you're in as well. Let me know if you're a subscriber. Make sure you support your videos because I am doing this video on the basis of your supported readings. Similar to another reading I did for a sign, you know the horizons upon you, there's a bright horizon that's beyond difficulty. So even when happiness seems far or maybe elusive, remember that bright horizon. What I'm going to do is look into the general career, money and finance, and then I'll go into love. If you're not interested in love, it could be your partnership you're currently in. If you're single, it could bring up single messages. And also, um, anyone coming towards you it could even be relationships that come across come into this as opposed to love directly if you're in a sticky patch there could be a message for you there's also at the end going to be overall oracle or spirit animal message for you it's not tapped into love it's just general to see what um, spirit animals are around you so stay tuned for that as well I do feel like there's been a shift or there will be definitely you're currently going through it and you might not realize a self of uh, a sense of self and identity and this might have been triggered from someone in the past involved you know someone who's come in you've not completed a relationship with them or you move jobs and they sort of helped you trigger this, but in a good way. I also see someone from the past is involved in your energy, but not fully in your energy, not immediate. Now, either you were too fast to act in a situation um, or they were and either you or they were not really the be all and end all that was kind of the other side was feeling or seeing again you know are you in your head or in you are you in your heart let's see the general and then i'll continue what i've got First card out was Nine of Cups, lovely, Six of Pentacles, and then we had the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. This could definitely be that some of you are getting a promotion at work. Now, interestingly, I've got the Hanged Man sort of like that, so I'm going to tap into that energy in a moment. I'll just put it there for a moment. Um, I definitely think some of you have been planning either to move jobs or to try and get a promotion that has come in. There is something about balancing, planning forward your career, your money, your finances. It could be to do with the new promotion that come in. Maybe it's got new responsibilities. It could be to do with, you know, um, some of this line of cups. So basically a new thing that's come into your life. Now with the hanged man, what I just want to do is actually, it's interesting. It, you're kind of not in a hanged man position, but you're not in a totally action position. And I feel that that means you, you, you're fluctuating. Sometimes you're surrendering to the will of the cosmos, and sometimes you're sort of in a self-sabotage. You're holding on to something that isn't for you, or you're just being stubborn. Um, and then sometimes you're like, I'm letting go. I'm going to embrace, like, you know, I said, your head or your heart. Maybe you're like, I'm going to embrace my heart, align with it. I'm going to move forward on whatever I feel like I need to move forward or who I need to speak to. Then your head comes in and you hold on, you hold back, you're in stubbornness. Uh, but 
like I said, there's a shift here of enlightenment as well. Let me get more messages because I'm interested to see about the Nine of Cups in this, but definitely looking good in your career, money and finance. Look at that, Four of Wands. I said it's definitely looking good. Knight of Swords, there's definitely fast movement coming in. I feel like some of you might be moving industry and you're going to be paid a lot more. Some of you might be actually juggling, should I move or should I not? And you could have got counter offer or counter offer is coming up. And that's where you need to really make a decision about your plan moving forward, about your time, about your money and finances. It could be also to do with your aspirations, maybe of buying a home, getting a family, you know, um, or even whatever it is. But you're going to be celebrating the news with your close ones and informing them there's going to be a celebration. There is going to be fast moving. I feel like you will be um, in a... Some of you might be or moving into a more, so it could be the law, it could be uh, civil, it could be government, it could be, um, it could even be finance, um, but something that has authority as well, um, it could be legal, it could be even possibly um, healthcare, but yeah, so it doesn't have to be the end be all end all this could be the person that's actually believing in you and rushing in to give the offer but i feel like you're actually wanting to take this as well and you, in some way it's telling you release the past and move forward with this new offer because it really speaks to your heart okay interesting because so, this is also a really good love read if it was the love portion or if you were in a separation of love, it's it's a it's a really good outcome. And even if you don't want the person back, but let's focus on your career money and finance. Something might have not been unfair, or you felt it wasn't unfair, whether it's career money and finance, love relationships. But is it because you need to change your perspective? There is something about separately um, standing your ground, but. You do need to have a chat through something. Because maybe there is a bit of an uneven ground. And some misunderstanding. Some people may have just been childish. Or you could have just reacted childish. Because um, maybe your ego was dented. And it happens to all of us. And then you realise, you know, I was in my head. But money is on track and there's something about you getting new ideas coming in and payments being made on time as opposed to the path, the past where you sort of, you know, sort of um, also in this energy of a bit of a financial pinch, maybe. Maybe you focus more on your career. Let's get into the love portion and see what we get. Again, if you're not interested, although I'll cover all status, if you're not interested in your relationships, whether they're family or love relationships, you can move forward to the oracles. You'll see when I get the oracle cards in this book. card out was the six of swords we had that in your cream on your finance the second oh these two were the last two of the other two and remember i said whatever it is it's going to be a good outcome the star the healing card i felt that within your career money and finance as well and then we had the ten of wands where you're healing that and the page of wands you're coming forward
Yeah, so you remember I said something about maybe listening to someone else's perspective. It's coming through here as well. Um, and that is going to lead to a breakthrough if you do, okay, of the external conflict and fight, look at this, with your emperor or empress, we have the uh, emperor here, we've got the empress, so, and we've got the two of cups, you are meant to be with the person you're with, or the person you're thinking about, um, if you're single, there is incoming person for you, and you will be not a king and queen, you'll be above that. Now, whether you are both feminine or masculine, there's, there's energies here. So there's the emperor and empress, and you put that wherever you want that to be. But it's above the king and queens, it's above the king and the king and the queen and the queen, the emperor and the empress. And there's a soul union partnership here. I feel someone was very quick and hot-headed to move away. And if you've moved away from a relationship and it's totally over for you, there's someone who's coming in, possibly Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, who's going to be very healing for you, maybe Aquarius even. And really make you realise that love doesn't have to be a burden. You might have been single for quite some time. And now let me go on to if you're in a relationship and there's been a bit of a break. We see that here. And again, someone wasn't really tapping into the emotions with the break. But I feel now that is ready to shift. Through some time out, someone's learning to tap into their emotions. Now they might come forward with a bit of a... Um, They might come forward by getting someone to help them come forward. Not sure how to approach it. Because they were holding on to what they thought was a burden for quite some time. But again, also holding on to the partnership. It's taken so much mental clarity for this to be moved forward. And I think it's to do with the healing. Reverse the roles if needed. But we definitely have love offering coming in after that first sort of connection to break the ice. And if it's someone new, you've got someone who really is going to offer you the full heart. Look at this, hands in her heart and she's giving it. And you will feel the same because you're going to be feeling like either you're the emperor or empress. And this person is your divine counterpart. If you're in a relationship, maybe there's a distance between you both. And that's been a healing journey, but it's been quite heavy at certain times. But you've both held on to the partnership. And there is going to be a union here. It's taken a lot of inner strength from you. But you both see each other as the uh, long-term partnership. And I think there is going to be a movement forward if it has been very difficult. Maybe you might, you know, there might be a relocation back together or trying to work that out. Again, inner strength is a big thing that's coming through as well. It could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius. Taurus, this could also be in your charts. We've really got all the elements here, so it would be fair to, unfair to pin, try to pinpoint. But there's passion and there's emotions, really, when you both are on a good page, or if you're single, the person you're attracting in. And look at this, the reunion. You might even meet this person outside. Friends might try to help you get together with this person. Right, let's get you a spirit animal. listening to your intuition tiger that fire that passion and proghorn action 
So with the loon, it's listen to the song of your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge the busy life, seek more solitude when you need to and recognise that you are unique and that you are loved. Some of you could have been feeling quite lonely during this time. Tiger, I choose to be unstoppable. Passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. And the mighty forces come to my aid. So the universe is backing you up here. Is also pushing you to listen to your intuition, to your emotions, or just take the right action where maybe... Oh, take the right action. Interesting. It's time to take action on something. And you know what this is. Because the opportunity, the universe is helping you with that opportunity. Move forward confidently. I said if you wasn't, if you was, you know, in the hanged man situation. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle that's in work. If it's in love, the universe is helping you deliver a message or open up. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. Beautiful. So that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, do like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what came through for you. Take care and bye for now.